Okay, first of a three-game set, first divisional opponent of the year. It is Detroit Tigers and the Kansas City Royals. Kansas City 2-1, and one, entering play. We are an unfortunate 1-2. and two. Ready to get, get this offense going, truthfully. I really am. Offense was kind of slow in the Pittsburgh series. Looking to get it back uh, to where I think it can be this year. Francisco Liriano starts for the first time in the Tigers uniform. Not good numbers from a year ago in uh, in 291 innings. Is that true? There's no way. That's not right. No way. I don't believe that for a second, but whatever. Whit Merrifield will stand in and lead off our first MLB Network game of the year. First pitch to him. Seam fastball off the plate. We'll have to uh, we'll have to find Lariano's pitches. Never throwing with him before. And that is gonna get down and go to the wall. What happened there? Whit Merrifield with decent speed is gonna wind up on third. Nick. How do you let this ball get by you? What a terrible start. How did this ball get by us? He just... It, I, I have no explanation. What? Into the box, Billy Burns. Ball wasn't hit all that hard, and we're going to catch a little bit of a break right here, a little jam shot to Nico Goodrum. What on earth? It's almost worth walking Mike Moustakis, maybe, taking our chances with Lucas Duda. I believe Duda bats left-handed. I might be wrong. Let's check this out here in a second. So Moustakas stands in, left-handed bat, 272. Lucas Duda is a lefty. Uh, lefty. He's got uh, similar power to Moustakas, but less contact. It may it may be a, bit, a little bit early to, to be throwing in the intentional walks, but I'm, I'm going to do it. I don't want to face Moustakas in this spot. And it looks as though they're going to set up the double play. There's the free pass signal, so there'll be runners at the No speed with Moustakas on first base, so... This is a good double play situation. And here is Lucas Duda. He is two for nine in the new year, two RBIs. Oh, Jesus. Look at all these hot zones. Slider does find the zone. Will Liriano have a sinker? No. Change up nasty there from Francisco. So let's take a peek at our umpiring Clyde Washington is, is the home plate umpire today in this series. We will see Ed Drummond and that man again, the second base umpire today, Woody Keller. Swing and a miss. Slider gets... And Duda, and there are two down. So the double play will not uh, come to fruition, but that's okay. I don't know why he's fist pumping. Kind of bizarre. Here is Jorge Soler. Fastball will miss from Liriano. Decent velocity, 93 on that four-seamer. Also has a two-seam fastball. So we're going to miss on the change up one and one Popped up, foul, out of play. One and two count. We'll see if Liriano can pitch his way out of this. I'm sure he just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V, I'm not sure it's this guy's fault, but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now trying to limit Swing and a miss on the slider. Great first inning, great bounce back. After the leadoff triple by Whit Merrifield, Francisco Liriano, good pitching to get out of a jam. 
Couple of strikeouts there. One hit for the Royals, no damage after that. And it is Jesse Hahn. Last year, his ERA was well above his career average, near six in 209 innings. Although those numbers for the Oakland A's. Leadoff hitter will once again be Leonis Martin. That he can get away with up in the middle of the zone. Didn't really get the bat going with Martin in uh, game two with Pittsburgh. Ow. Wow. Out in front on that. Martin going to have a chance to beat it out, but will not. I just didn't wait on that enough. Did he go off speed of the first pitch? I, I think that's exactly what he did. Must have been. Martin's still searching for his first Tigers hit. Everyone else in the lineup today does have one. Jamer Candelario will bat second. Miguel Cabrera and Nicholas Castellanos, if anything happens after that. Two for nine on the new year. Called the pitch both times. But I don't want to swing at everything. But if Jesse Hahn's going to leave those pitches over the uh, part of the plate the rest of the day, oh boy. Ah, good pitch there, down and in. Wasn't really where I was looking for it. I was looking for it more towards the uh, the outside. Let's see what we get here. Let's find a way to execute today and get on the winning side. Fouled off, went with the two seamer. Seems to really favor his fastballs. Tried to go curve and nearly, nearly snuck it back door. I don't know what that was. Change up maybe? Two seamer. A little bit out in front on it. The one two. Swung on and missed strike three. Great pitch to freeze us there from Jesse Hahn. Candelario's out. I can't even complain. That's a great pitch. Just drops in the zone. Had us frozen. They really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right, so that's a tip of the cap. Oh wow. Way up and in. Amazed uh, Miguel didn't get a animation. There. Chop foul. Out in front on a slider. You don't want to make another mistake to Miguel. Don't want to leave anything in the zone. 2 1 count here. Let's see if he feels tempted to throw a fastball. Curveball does miss the zone. Three and one. See if he wants to give us anything. Slider down low, and it will be a two-out walk for Miguel. Had a great game yesterday. Three for four with a home run. Gotta love what Miguel did yesterday. And next it will be the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Nicholas Castellanos. Man at first after the two-out walk. I know I'm going to be battling the screen screen all damn day. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Inside with the two seamer on Nick. Well, I think that's a great spot for that pitch in on the hands. It wasn't a strike, but if he can command the movement in there, he's going to be very effective in this one. Count is oh. one and one to Nicholas Castellanos. <sighs> he's having trouble throwing strikes, and you fucking give him that. Seems to happen to us every time. That ball is ripped left field, down, base hit. Cabrera will move up to second base. A little two-out rally going. And it's Mikey Matuk, two for eight on the new year. Let's see if we can drive in an early run. That is rope to the shortstop. They'll go to second for the out, and that will end the inning. But a couple runners on. Or the lineup maybe having a good game, perhaps? One hit aside as we go to the second.
Paolo Orlando will lead off for KC. He's four for ten to start this year. Little fiftieth anniversary patch on uh, the uh, jerseys of the Royals this season. Swing and a liner, but foul. Looks like the Royals are first pitch swinging on Liriano. They've seen a ton of him. Over the years, Liriano played many years with the Minnesota Twins. Also played with uh, Pittsburgh, Houston a year ago, won the World Series with the Astros. There's our defense today. Jacoby Jones, Nico Goodrum. The only changes in for... Cabrera and Machado. He had a triple in the game yesterday, finishing one for four. Here's Salvador Perez. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Not a bat you want to mess around with. Salvi actually hurt right now. Very bizarre sounding story for Salvador Perez. He got injured carrying luggage. Pitches right there. Got to look for something up. Might have to tip your hat if he can stay Very down bizarre injury. Like that. Liriano feeling the slider right now. Change up will miss. Off the outside, it's one and two. Well, let's maybe give him the slider. Down. In the dirt. To execute that pitch well. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 Foul to off. 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline. See, uh, see where he was in that fastball. It's actually Basically late on it. Ball hit well, but foul. Well, we haven't thrown the two seamer much. Top foul again. Liriano cannot put Perez away. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. In the air, right field. Castellanos, so he got another weird animation there, but he is there to make the play. Uh, Castellanos does make me very, very nervous in right field sometimes. I think Perez was just late on that pitch. He was just flat out late on it. Didn't look like he was trying to take that ball the other way. Who in the hell... Michael Saunders. Man, I forgot about this guy. And completely missed uh, the news that he was on the Royals. Two and no on Saunders. Isn't this the guy that was absolutely crushing with Toronto a couple years ago? Where's our, uh, where's our resident uh, Blue Jays fan? Or fans. Should be less on that slider. It's been good. Jamer, good pick. Good turn. Throw is good, and that will end the second. That'll be a 1 2 3 inning. Good to see you out of Francisco Liriano. Bottom two we go. See if we can get Next some solid offense going. James McCann back in the lineup today was out yesterday in favor of John Hicks for the first time this season. McCann does struggle against righties. Watches a two-seamer down low. That is one ripped, but foul. Man, we weren't very early on that. The one, one home. And we weren't and that far off of that either. Yeah, we were pretty early on it. To be the fair. Oh, good curve. I called it there. What the fuck? So here's how the Kansas City Royals are positioned defensively. And I want to talk about oh, I had that there. This guy's a premium Nico Goodrum, man. Hit a home run in yesterday's ball game. 
first of the season, first as a uh, Tiger. Up the middle, and it does curl just enough to the shortstop. And Goodrum's out. And we got our pitch. Can't uh, can't be too upset on that one. Jacoby Jones also homered in yesterday's ball game in the ninth inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Not our pitch there. Did uh, call the right pitch, but was uh, unable to get the one we wanted. On the ground, and it got by the first baseman. Well, we catch a little bit of a break there with two outs. Some speed on base. Just a ball I think we were late on. Jacoby Jones hits it right down the line, and... Lucas Duda just could not handle it. Didn't get in front of that ball. Jose Iglesias back in the lineup today. See if he can provide a two-out hit to score Jones. That gets away. Jones has got to get on his horse in time. Or not in time was the throw. Wild pitch by Jesse Hahn. And we didn't go as well, so it's a 1-0 count. Adds to the situation. The one and oh delivery. That line is the down right the line. Fair and ball. Going to try and score Jones here. Throw will be not in time. And the Tigers are on the board first. RBI single for Jose Iglesias. All with two outs. Knew exactly what we wanted to do with that ball as soon as we guessed it. If it was in the zone, we were taking it the other way. Finally squared up a ball. And it is a 1-0 Tiger lead. Now Leonis Martin inside of the slider from Hahn. First RBI this year for Iggy. Kind of an odd spot for a graphic there, but it is what it is. A little bit out in front on that. I think that might have either been the slider. Yep. And just the action of that pitch is enough for us to foul that one off. Two balls Two seamer strike, misses Leonis in. Martin. Iglesias, the Leonis still looking for his first hit as a Tiger here in game number two for him. And it'll not come here. Maybe close play. Not going to beat that throw out. Leonis is out. But an RBI single for Jose Iglesias. It is 1-0 Tigers. A couple of hits there in the second inning with two outs. And uh, we find ourselves on top. It's all up to Liriano now. Good to get on the board. And early as well. Here is Alcides Escobar, long time Kansas City Royal. Ugh, didn't get the call. Way out in front on a changeup. Changeup and, uh, and, and slider, the off-speed stuff has looked really good for Francisco. And speared at first by Nico Goodrum. Great play. Alcides Escobar robbed of a potential single. Just hit it at the wrong spot. Now the top of the order, Whit Merrifield will swing around. Should have only been on base with a single, but he got all the way to third on a weird. That's gonna that's gonna go foul. Oh my gosh, I thought he was about to get lucky again. Changeable miss, good eye. Fastball up and in. Strikes. Nothing you're going to be able to do with that pitch, even if you do swing at it. Up the middle. Jesus, Whit Merrifield. This is going to be the kind of series that he's going to have. We could be in trouble. Their leadoff hitter getting on. 
He is two for two today. Good speed in this guy too, so we gotta watch out here. One out. Here is Billy Burns. Into the box now, Billy Burns. Runners off for That was a hit and run. Fouled off by Burns. Comes set and the 0 1. Runner holds. Good fastball there. Burns takes it 0 and 2. Francisco does need a good game today. The Tigers need a good game. You know, you, you, you don't want to get in too big of a slump to start the year. But make sure you at least get one out in a spot like this. Slider got him. That slider is working today for Francisco Liriano. Great pitch there. And there are two out. I really like the, the socks that the uh, KC Royals have, the stance socks. I like those. They're light blue. It doesn't really go with the rest of their uniform, but they are nice. Mike Mostakis will see pitches for the first time today. We intentionally walked him. Play Back of the first inning. Fouled off. After the leadoff triple by Merrifield, we figured we'd try and get a double play. Wow. Bizarre little bounce there. Ah. Just did miss that outside edge. What is it, three and one? Wanted to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. The three one. Runner holds three one, but it is a ground ball right to Nico Goodrum. Easy play, funky animation, but uh, but we make the solid play there to end the inning. Another hit for the Kansas City Whit Merrifields. But we go to the bottom of the third, one nothing, Tigers. Jammer Candelario will lead off the third inning. It'll be 2-3-4. Candelario Cabrera Castellanos. A nickname will surely be brewing for that trio. Here comes the first pitch. Han not really controlling the two-seam fastball, I think, as well as he should be. He's in his third season as a major league player. On the ground, right to the shortstop, El Cides Escobar. Strong throw will get Candelario. Gotten a few ground balls as Jesse Hahn. 32 pitches in. We're swinging early in counts. That's why its pitch count is not all that high right now. Miguel Cabrera, the lone walk of the ball game. I mean, we're guessing him, which is, is more than could be said yesterday against Joe Musgrove. We really had no idea, no clue what Joe was throwing. This guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. Han not getting ahead of many hitters right now. Three and zero. Good Cabrera walk for the second time. Taken here. Slider will find the low inside corner. Cabrera got his first hit of the year in yesterday's ball game. Actually got two of them. Was uh, Ofer in the first two games of the year. Oof, good curve. Little out in front on it. Chopped it into the ground. 3-2 count. See where he goes. Oh. I mean, you talk about getting the benefit of these calls, man. Kansas City's getting all of them right now. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches. But Low pitches aren't going my way. That was actually a good take. But on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. I mean, we haven't had that many right now uh, in this game thus far, but 
Seems like everyone that's close is going the way of the Royals, whether it's on the mound or at the plate. No matter. Hooks that two seamer. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ugh, way low. <sighs> it's not good. Uh, it's not a good eye right there. Not at all. So now he can he he can throw anything he wants now. The one two. That is Line hit in the right gap. Center. Down. It'll be cut off by the right fielder. Another two out base runner. Been doing doing very well getting two out base runners on these days. So drop in there. Not sure who they got in right field today. Mikey Matuk with a two out chance here. Inside and he got drilled. Mikey hit. And that'll put a runner in scoring position. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. I believe it's McCann next. So we'll see what he can do. Digging in for his second Struck after. out in uh, his first at bat. Third. Again, like we said, he does struggle against right handed pitching. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. For those of you who haven't noticed, Jesse Hahn throws from the right side. With his right arm, I guess I should say. Right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's gonna have success, he's gotta establish that pitch. Maybe a good fastball count. Try and guess something. If we can sit on it. Not gonna get it here. I called the wrong I called the wrong fastball. That's why you play. That ball is hit on the ground under the glove. Gonna try and score him. Coming home. Bad throw. Run scores. Bad throw from the left fielder. James McCann will get an RBI single out of this. Just hangs a curveball in there. Alcides Escobar just can't get the glove down. Almost. He was there. He just didn't get the glove down. And another two out. Scoring uh, uh, another two out score for the Tigers. Nico Goodrum, the first Nico Goodrum will get a change up away. Runners on first and third, two away. Another run might be, I wouldn't say insurmountable, but be, would be pretty huge the way Liriano has started this game. Forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. I'm guessing the wrong fastball every time we're in these counts. That is a four-seamer you cannot get any more right down the middle than that. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. And that is shut. Are we going to be able to score a run here? No, the run. The, the, what? All the runners dove back. They thought he could. Ah. There's more shitty base running by the AI. They all dove back. It's two outs. Just fucking go. Like, literally. Can we can we take a look at that? Why did they dive back? Two outs. Take a look at this. Why is he going back? That doesn't make any sense. Runner on first, McCann should have been going the whole way. Instead, that's it's a jam on the base pass that maybe costs us a run. It's unfortunate. It seems like it's we're getting one of those every game. Line drive to left. Oh my God, that was a, what is the funky animations today? But Lucas Duda will line out to Mikey Matuk out there. Pretty dirty jersey on the front of the uh, uniform of Mikey Matuk. Liriano's pitch count in good shape. 42 pitches thus far. This is Jorge Soler, former Chicago Cub. The 1-0 home. That is right, right? I feel I feel the need to look that up. I want to 
let's see. I was right. Okay. I thought so. I did. That's bad, bad timing on that one. Solaire got 62 speed. Give him a fastball. And he swung on it. He's going to gap it. It's going to be a double for Solaire. And a bad throw. On the third, he's going to be out. What is Solaire thinking? Terrible base running, Candelario. What a messy play. Bad throw in from uh, Leonis Martin. Candelario gets the wild throw. Throws over to Liriano, who's covering the bag. And Soler is out by about five feet. And the bad breaks continue for the Royals, but I'll take them. They've been going, they've been going against us through the early part of this season, so I will take any good breaks the game wants to give me. That is for certain. And a quick inning for Liriano. Here is Jacoby Jones. Had a single his first time up. First offering on its way. Already is making me look like a genius for putting him in the lineup. Even though I did put Nico Goodrum in as well. That was the that, those were the two choices. Change up will miss on Jones. Oh, they don't have the stupid the show letterings on the side of Ford Field this year. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level. The two seamer there wasn't looking for it there. To get his tool set ironed out. He's throwing his slider a pretty decent bit, and it's his fifth pitch. So that's a little bizarre. I don't know where he goes here. Two seam fastball inside, three and two count to a speedy Jacoby Jones. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. In the air, center field, shallow. Paulo Orlando will make the play. It'll be Jose Iglesias now. Had an RBI single last time. On the ground, third base side. Was out in front on it. Wild throw a little bit. Took Duda off the bag, I thought, but we're going to call Iglesias out. Let's get, uh, let's get Han to 60 pitches. Let's just take two regardless. Not hard to take that one. Unless he throws us something up here. Inside again. What makes hitting so difficult is covering both sides of the plate. And that hard pitch right there that was inside makes it awfully Going to make him throw a strike here, two and one. In the outside part of the plate. Where does he go? The two one home. Ball is hammered foul. Movement on that pitch. Forced it foul. Here now the two two. Two seam fastball again. Another full count for Jesse Hahn. Jamer Candelario waits on deck if anything happens. Where does he go? Up the middle, base hit. And another two out hit in this game by another speedy batter. Leonis Martin with his first Tiger hit. Well, it's been two outs that we've been scoring our runs today. Let's see if Jamer can drive something in the gap and score Martin. 75 speed standing on first base. And that is on the ground. Easy play for Lucas Duda. Nothing happening there in a two-out spot. So the Tigers will strand a runner, but still lead 2-0. Six hits. Good to see. Good to see.
and we're getting hits often. They're not all coming in one inning. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. Salvador Perez will stand in. Things not looking very good so far in this Lined out. His first time up. Where did they line out to? Mikey Matuk, I think, out there in, uh, in left. Earliest the Tigers will make the playoffs is 2020. Um, I would say that's probably, probably pretty close to accurate. You know, you never know. Baseball's a funny sport, but... I uh, I don't see I don't see them making ball. it this year or next year. Fouled off. You know, it's just uh, Keep battling. I mean, rebuilding Keep takes time. Balls in a row. It really it He's really really does, and um, if they do it right, let's see if he can catch something on the barrel. Then ball you know, to the it'll be a while before we see him back in the playoffs. It really will. One and two, here it comes. Misses, ball two. Timing up the pitches. Liriano may be starting to get a touch tired. Energy is down there, as is Jesse Hans. Ugh, Goodrum, get down. I hit the dive button. He didn't dive. Lead off single for Salvador Perez. Unfortunate. I wanted to dive for that ball. If he if he dives, we we block that. Might as well get the bullpen going. Alex Wilson, Ryan Carpenter. Oh, I should have called Buck up. Um, they will be off limits today. Joe Jimenez, I'd like to stay away from. Get uh, Drew Verhagen and Daniel Stumpf up of the bullpen. Michael Saunders. All of a sudden, Liriano can't find the strike zone. One after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Good changeup. Uh, fooled Saunders. Really wasn't an, a well executed pitch. Very well executed. It looks like it just sort of dies when it gets close. I don't know why I threw the first. I mean, I'll take the out. I hit the wrong button. I kind of button mashed. So Perez advances up to second base. That doesn't come back to play us. Definitely had time, just hit the wrong button. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swinging a miss and a fastball upstairs by Alcides Escobar. These guys are going to have any chance in this one. They are going to have to set their sights a little lower. You cannot expect to get the barrel of the bat to that baseball. Been that a staple of this Royals team for quite some time. And he falls behind 0-2. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Changeup just fouled away. I think he was late on that pitch. Indeed he was. Right off the end of the bat. Ready with the 0-2. Swing and a miss, fastball up and in, right up in Escobar's kitchen. And man, Francisco Liriano putting together a solid outing right now. Solid outing. I'd like him to go a little bit deeper than I think he's probably going to be able to. But it is what it is. What do we got here? Oh, Jesus, Whit Merrifield. Fantastic. Had not been able to retire him yet. I'd almost rather face Billy Burns, but I don't want to put a runner with 81 speed on base. Who knows? At least not intentionally. This is where, as an offense, you start seeing this pitcher get tired. He starts missing his spots. You could start three and zero situations where maybe you could start driving the baseball out of the yard. Billy Burns would be next. And that'll be a walk. Got away from McCann. And a runner will advance to third. It's getting from bad to worse there. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Billy Burns with two on, two out. Ah, oh, um, give me that shit. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Every goddamn pitch, borderline, is going the way of the Royals today. Every goddamn one. Just has to be the right pitch to hack at. I've thrown six straight balls. Those were great takes right there. Those were pitches that a lot of get him out and visit. Hopefully, get his confidence back. He took both of them and finds himself in a productive count leverage. There we go. 
called strike on the change. Two and one. <sighs> we needed that That's pitch. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on two and zero, oh, chop that foul slider. That's a pitch you feel really confident with. Well, where do we go here? Here now the two two. Popped him up. Should get us out of the inning. Nico Goodrum there. And Liriano skates out of danger again. 69 pitches in. It is still 2-0 Tigers. Bottom five. Here we come. Just nothing. Nothing that we can do to stop Whit Merrifield. He's getting on base no matter what. See what they want to offer Miggy. 65 pitches for Jesse Hahn. Two seam fast or two seam fastball. Will miss high. The one is looked at. Seamer misses again. I mean he's not hit the zone with that on a consistent basis today. At all. Ball hit well. Not well enough. Therefore, it is Saunders, and he takes It'll be Michael Saunders to make the catch. The right fielder, number nine. In and Castellanos on base Tyler twice today. Good to see. He was off to a slow start in the Pittsburgh the series. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a strike. Let's go ahead and get into this Kansas City bullpen. I'm, I'm ready for him. Wind up and the I can only see Han maybe finishing this inning. On the maybe corner. one more, but this I doubt it. 30 balls, 40 strikes for Jesse Hahn. Not the greatest ratio. That is foul and just. We're a, a, a millisecond, milliseconds later than, on that than we have it. That is going to be a base hit for Nick. Three for three. Three singles for Nicholas Castellanos. Big game so far. One out base runner. Couple of hops into the glove of Paolo Orlando. Here is Mikey Matsuk. Was hit by a pitch his last time up. Where we got screwed by the weird base running voodoo. First pitch coming, here it is. Jesse Hahn still in the game. A little bit surprising. There was bullpen action. Let's see who was uh, warming up. It'll be Willie Peralta and Brian Flynn. 70 overall and 74. Not a great Royals bullpen. It was their strength in the past. No, not there. There. And Two and zero. Oh. And Hans ratio is just going to get worse. Right there. Double play and Forty-two and thirty-two. Three and zero oh to Mikey Matuk. That two-seam fastball has not been the friend of Jesse Hahn today. Four-seamer will the find the very strike. bottom hey, of the zone. Right Regroup, get his mechanics back under him, and drive something down through the strike zone. Throw the that ball is absolutely crushed! First of the year for Mikey! Two-run shot off Jesse Hahn. That has got to end his day. The Mikey Matuk fan club is, is back. Oh, the Mikey Matuk for MVP. Could it be coming back? A clutch home run there here in the middle innings. Hey, that's one of the toughest parts about standing out there on the pump, giving up a long Perfect swing. Look at Mikey watch that ball, too. Absolutely crushed it. This is the offense that we knew we could have. 4 nothing. Han is still in. It's his eighth hit allowed. He cannot find the zone with the two-seamer. 
or really anything else. Four seamer up and in, Jamdis. Next pitch will be pitch number 80. Ball hit well, right field, not deep. Good to see Mikey Matuk back on his ways. We had over 20 home runs with Mikey a year ago, and that was with worse stats. On the ground, second baseman will gobble that up. And Nico is out to end the inning. Two-run shot for Mikey motherfucking Matuk. This guy, good to see. Good to see that he's that he can still hit bombs. Cleared the bullpen, nearly cleared all of the left field bleachers. Or that, they're not even bleachers here. Just regular old seats. Francisco Liriano back to work. Only 69 pitches for him, but this is probably his last inning. Reminder, he does have help in the bullpen. See there, he's getting tired, so we do have Verhagen and Stumpf in. Can use them however we want. This is going to be a close play down the line. Not able to get that one, was Matuk. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Chop fell. Of course, we haven't touched on the fact that the Royals do not have Eric Cosmer this year. Signed with the San Diego Padres in the offseason. So now I can hate Eric Cosmer on another team. The next 0-2. Didn't time up that fastball one. well. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. Swing and a little tapper. The extended uh, at bat here will almost certainly be the last batter here for Liriano. There it is, slider strikeout. That pitch has been money for him all day. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher. 76 pitches in for Liriano. But his stamina is only at 65 this year as he gets older. It's just not enough to go real deep in games. So let's bring in, let's bring in the lefty Daniel Stumpf. Daniel Stumpf. First action of the year for Stump, 55 games and ERA sub four, which on the Tigers is really goddamn good, and that's why he was back with the team this year. Signed from uh, Philly in the 2017, or for the 2017 season. And he's getting squeezed first pitch. I would expect that from our umpire two days from now, Woody Keller. Misses ball two. Good start for Stump. Right now, two and zero to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off. Lucas Duda was swinging there on the fastball. Change up, chop foul. Oh, where do we go here? Here now the two two. That ball is ripped, beats the shift. Lucas Duda on base for the first time today. That will be a double for the former New York Met. And the stump didn't retire the one guy that he will face. A couple of righties coming up, so we will put Drewver Hagen in the game. I mean, he just beat the shift right here. Just absolutely beats the shift. And we deploy on him, and it's bound to happen. I know when I'm batting with a guy that gets shifted on, I do that all the time, try to beat it. Rarely successfully, but it does happen every now and then. Drew Verhagen will be charged with getting the next two outs then. I believe this is also his first action of the year. 24 games. ERA elevated, but we've actually had good uh, good luck with Verhagen. Stepping in now, 
Oh, just missed on that curve. They may not a good pitch to break out first pitch. Mid 90s on the fastball for Verhagen. Change up will find the zone. There we go. To uh, see him a little bit more crisp on those pitches, but. And it gets through McCann. <sighs> Couple wild pitches is what they'll be ruled by, uh, but I mean, they've just squirted through him. You got to keep that ball in front of you. Instead, both of them are getting blocked off down the first baseline. Going to block him anywhere, block him down the third baseline. That's closer to the bag. Three and two pitch. Upcoming. And he walked him. Uh, so struggles out of the bullpen for the Tigers. Who would have thought? Crazy, right? Hello, Orlando. That ball is fair. Is it going to get at least one run in? Coming home, and they're going to have him out by a mile. Jorge Soler thrown out of the base pass for the second time this game. That does get the Royals on the board. But not good base running decisions made by Jorge Soler. He's been thrown out at third and thrown out at home. Let's get a, uh, let's get a mound visit out to Drew. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Chris Bazio out there. Oof, just missed. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost. Oh, just like that. Just like that, we're back to no confidence. This is one pitch. We're back to no confidence. Jesus. This one's down to third. Candelario, a little unnecessary spin there. We'll end the inning. The Royals do get a run. About time. They ever do. They ever do. That's fair. Four to one as we go to the bottom of the sixth. Willie Peralta will relieve Jesse Hahn. ERA, INF. What? I'm just a little confused on that. Single and a fly out for Jacoby Jones. Slider will miss inside from Peralta. And more action in the Royals bullpen. Flynn back up, or actually still up, and now Seth Manis will join him. One oh count, here it is. The fastball there from Peralta. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Ooh, good slider. Good slider. I thought maybe it was that two seamer. It wasn't. Broke down very, very well. Slider's coming away. That is slapped right to the first baseman, Lucas Duda. One out. Jacoby can't believe it. Solid contact, guessed our pitch. That's the game of baseball. Here's, the short Here's Jose Iglesias. Had a single in the second. Drove in a run. And now a hard hit ball right to the other shortstop in the game. Alcides Escobar. And a very quick couple outs for Willie Peralta. Top of the Tigers lineup will swing around. Leonis Martin got his first Tigers hit in his last at bat in the fourth inning. So, uh, make Peralta throw some pitches. Lord knows we're probably going to see him in the seventh as well. This guy you got any stamina? Can I tell? What the hell? Hitting the left button should work there, but it's uh, not wor not working right now. 
On the ground, second baseman will end the inning. Just seven pitches needed for Peralta to carve through the Detroit Tigers. We still lead four to one. As we enter the late innings, we will take a look at the box score. Four runs on eight hits for us, one run on six hits for the Royals. Let's take a look at our game summary. Here's Michael Saunders now. For two Held Saunders in check today, 0 for 2. Looks to be struggling just a bit. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Should probably get somebody else up at the bullpen. Um, Alex Wilson, if he's available. No, he's not. I really don't want to settle for Warwick Soppold. He's got some stamina. He could get us a couple outs. Down the first baseline. But uh, we need Verhagen to, to get his outs here as well. Swing and a miss on the curveball, and no block needed by McCann. Well, we've seen some really good strikeout by Drew. These guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort. Oh. Not Ron Gardenhire's loving it. Pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. I'll see this Escobar with one out in the seventh. I missed my your timing by just a centimeter, man, and it and that uh, and that's getting called a. Uh, but well, that's going to uh, miss the zone. Change up. Good pitch there. Cuts a, uh, coaxes a swing out of Escobar. One out, nobody on. One and two. Two-seam fastball will find the bottom of the zone. I didn't even try to throw it there. See if somebody else will chase the uh, curve. Chopped foul. Just did get a piece. Uh, ASAP101, thank you for your follow. Make sure to uh, get involved in chat. Chat's been kind of dead today, but uh, it's usually alive for the most part. It's his early morning stream. It kind of threw everybody off, I think. And Captain Mogul followed me 12 hours ago. How? Why? I wasn't streaming 12 hours ago. On the ground, it's going to be Candelario. Good throw across his body. And that is the second out. But anyway, Captain Mogul, if you are in here, uh, in this ungodly early hour, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your follow. Here's Whit Merrifield, who has not been retired today. Two hits and a walk. First pitch fastball in on the fists for ball one. I don't know. I don't know what we got to do to get this guy out. Apparently, chopper back to the mound. Merrifield retired for the first time today, and that ends the seventh. Good stuff out of Drew Verhagen. Now we can use Softbold or whoever we want as a setup man. Shane Green in the ninth. It's easy. Jamer is 0 for 3. The average at 167 right now for Jamer. Seth Main is warming up at the bullpen, and just as I suspected, Willie Peralta back out in the seventh inning for the Royals after he cruised through the 8-9-1 uh, batters. Popped up, shallow right field. Their territory, Jamer will be, what, 0 for 4? Jesus. Now batting, designated hitter. Like to get Jamer going, but eh, it's early, early in the season. I'm not too worried about it. Speaking of guys, we need to get going. Miguel Cabrera does have a walk today. He's also struck out looking and flied out. Good change up there. Even if we do swing at that, it's gonna we're gonna be out in front on it. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the Eastern theory, unless we're sitting on that pitch, which we definitely weren't. Well, we saw the slider there. Now the one and one pitch. Dare we see a fastball in this at in this at bat to Miguel Cabrera? 
closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you oh, might get it a did slip. four seamer up and in. Good spot for it. That's the that's the way you've got to get Miguel Cabrera out. Fastballs up inside. You know Miggy hates it, but the two two is taken ball three. Three two count for the second time on Miguel. And the red hot Nicholas Castellanos is on deck with three hits. Where does he go here? Three two. Got confidence in this fastball. Ball hit well. But Paulo Orlando will track it down. That is the second out. Miguel is 0 for over 3. Nick Castellanos now trying to keep it going. A perfect 3 for 3 thus far. I mean, Nick really has been unstoppable today. First pitch coming. Here it is. Missed yeah. with a slider. After watching that one go by. Everything going the way of Nicholas today. Peralta doesn't like the call, but. Slatter misses the zone according to the home plate umpire. Now the one oh. Oh. It's a makeup call right there. Hello. Out in front on uh, what looked like a slider. Yep. Weren't that far out in front on it. Oh. Well, it's been a minute since I've done that. Down in order go the Tigers. They hold on to a four to one. He does have a really, really good fastball up at 97. I mean, that was just kind of a funny animation. We weren't that far out in front on it. Ready for another chance. Billy Burns will lead off the eighth inning for Kansas City. As much as I'd love to leave Verhagen in, we should probably bring in Warwick Suppold. 45 games a year ago, a 4.88 ERA on this uh, Detroit Tigers team is not bad. It's bad everywhere else, but not on the Tigers. Anytime we have a pitcher with an ERA like under six, we're like, oh, yeah, he's improving. Top foul in that uh, changeup. Oh, oh, Jamer. That's not Jamer, it's Nico. Not in time. Billy Burns with tremendous speed. I don't know why I thought it was Jamer Candelario. I haven't put Jamer at first all year. Nico Goodrum knocked it down, but didn't change the inevitable. If he didn't get it in his glove, I knew he wasn't going to get him. Or it can't get over there that fast. Got to watch a steal here. Not there, but it does get away from McCann. Another ball that eats up James McCann. And a runner is in scoring position. James McCann is a great defensive catcher, but he has not been good today. Those kind of things can absolutely kill you. So Billy Burns does move up 90 feet. Burns stands at second with no out. Shot foul. Where can we go here? Good pitch, but he somehow got a piece of that. How? That is hit well. Nick going back at the track. He's going to get it. Not really at the warning track, but pretty deep out there. That'll be an out. Burns moves up to third. That wild pitch really going to cost us, perhaps. Four to one in the eighth. Here's Lucas Duda now. First offering on its way. Slider will find the zone, not where I wanted it there. Hey, I have 
no problem with that wanted that right uh, inside but in. you seen this it guy is what it is change it misses Fuck. To calibrate what he's got timing up these pitches I want him in the zone a one and one count here's the pitch oh and a ball that time that broke my God eighth inning four to one is our score Hard hit ball. I will concede the run concede the run to get the out that's fine not even going to try and throw home. It's, uh, I will take bases clear, two outs, two run lead. Uh, ASAP says, I'm a Pirates fan, but the Tigers really got cheated on opening day. Oh, my God. It was, um, it's a rough time. Uh, tell our, tell our resident, uh, one of our mods, um, Austin, is a Cleveland Indians fan, so he just, he, he uh, likes to trash on the uh, Tigers a bit, which is fair. They're, they're, they're kind of bad these days, but, um, he uh, he was like, oh, well, if Nick Castellanos would have slid head first and not feet first, he would have been safe. And I'm just like, eh, no, get out of here. No, I um, uh, I'm not. I I don't know if he tagged him or not. But that's the thing about that replay is that you can't tell. At least from my perspective, that you couldn't tell if Nick was tagged at home or not. And um. And if and if that's the case, then the call on the uh, on the field should have st uh, stood up. But we all know that by now. It is what it is. It's one game. It sucks that it broke that string of um, you know opening day wins, but had to had to lose it eventually. This team's bad. If we didn't lose it this year, we'd lose it next year. Four to two, bottom eight. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let me step off. I have to get our closer, Shane Green, up in the bullpen. High fly ball by Matuk Shallow. Hello, Orlando there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The catcher, number 34. And that's uh, that's something that they that they have mentioned. You know, um, New York does have more angles than than they do show on TV. Um, I don't know why. Um, I think I think if you if you're gonna make that call, you need to show the fans. You need to show the people in the ballpark the angle that you see that makes it obvious that he tagged him. I, th I thought there was a chance that he got the sleeve, and I mean the tip of the sleeve of Nick Castellanos. But then again, like I said, that, that's, a, that's a chance. It's not a for sure thing. And if it's, not a, if it's not a for sure thing, then you can't change that call. We've seen it time and time again. Pirates and Tigers in are uh, both in for a long year regardless. I don't know. Um, I like... I like the Pirates. They looked really good in the uh, series with the Tigers. It's going to be a base hit for McCann. You know, a no McCutcheon, no Garrett Cole definitely hurts big time for for Pittsburgh. But I thought they I thought they played really well first series of the year. And I liked what I saw out of my team as well. Uh, you know, they showed showed good fight. That four run comeback on opening day uh, to to even force. Extra innings was was pretty good last night. You know they they showed a little uh, never uh, never say never in them. A couple of runs in the ninth inning. Down four again. One out, one on. Bottom eight. Shane Green warming up of the bullpen for the ninth inning for the Tigers. That is down. Good block by the catcher. Salvador Perez, a great defensive catcher. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Now the one and one pitch. Ground on the ground. That is going to be a fair Nico's ball. Might be two. Nope, Nico's safe. They get the first runner, but Nico Goodrum is safe at first base with two outs. Good throw there by Duda. Not an easy double play to complete. And another good transfer and throw from Escobar on to first base, but just uh, too much speed on both sides. One on, two out. Jacoby Jones stands in. 
Yeah, you guys do have Felipe Rivero, though. I mean, he is. Um, he didn't. He didn't pitch all that well on opening day. Obviously, the four-run comeback, but um, he was having some mechanical issues that day. I think. That is over the head, over the head of, or off the glove, maybe. What happened there? A little confused. I don't know if he had it. In it. I want to take a, another look at this. Did he have it at all, or did that just hit like the tip of his glove and bounce over him? This is uh, Whit Merrifield, who's absolutely owned us today. Oh, that caught him below the glove. Or no, on the side of the glove? What the hell? Right off. Yeah, he just missed it. Just missed it. I don't know. I hope Jacoby Jones has a big year. Really. First pitch coming. Here it is. Inside with a fastball. Just misses inside. This is a critical point right Jesus here. Jesus Christ. Things are in danger of getting away from him. Did, so, did, uh, did Tim from YouTube uh, make a uh, make a Twitch channel? Oh, God, I tried to check swing on that. I tried to, uh, I tried to check there. What the hell? Um, no, I, I remember Tim, uh, Tim from YouTube. He would always say stuff, uh, stuff like that. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Interesting sequence. I was, I was, I was gonna say I don't know anyone that uh, that doesn't like it. I know you're just trying to be a troll and shit. But. That is up the middle. Will it score a run? Oh, that the runner at third, safe, and it's a three-run lead again. Jose Iglesias, big game today. Couple of RBIs. That one taken right back up the middle, squared up off the, uh, or out of the right hand of Seth Manis. Right back up the middle, two on, now two out. Two out hitting today. It's what we had, it's what we didn't get in the Pittsburgh series. It's what we're getting today. If we can do that, oh shit, now it might be worth uh, warming somebody up. Oh crap. Bullpen's kind of depleted today. Yes, Joe Jimenez. We could use Shane Green regardless, but I wouldn't. I'd, I'd like to save him for save situations. On the ground, this might close play. They're gonna get Martin at first. Yeah, my bad on uh, the delay on your answering your question. Um, I made a swag. Clever name. Um, yeah, it is franchise. Uh, we uh, we play every Tigers game every day all season long. I don't know. I don't know why I do it to myself either. So a save situation for Shane Green. Pretty easy situation uh, to bring in our closer. Two games has one save in two innings. Two strikeouts. Do you do multiple seasons? Not in this one. We do have a franchise mode going with the Atlanta Braves that we started a couple days ago. Um, that one we do multiple seasons. We pretty much go until we uh, until we get sick of it, or until it seems like a good point to uh, to quit. World Series championship or dynasty, if we don't feel like quitting on them. This is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. Somebody suggested when we were when we were trying to pick out what team, because that took forever picking out the team that we wanted to to. Uh, rebuild somebody said um unload the yankees and then rebuild them and i was thinking i was like that'd be a challenge that'd be a straight up challenge just deal everyone away for fucking nothing and i think it'd be an interesting concept here's the catcher salvador perez head-to-head -head battles with shane green he's four for 14 Good slider there from Green. Phillies are a good rebuild candidate. Um, we really had it down to the Braves, the A's, and I think the Miami Marlins. But the Braves won out. Bases are empty, one man in. 
Four seam fastball, chop foul by Salvi. Ah, bad pitch. Bad pitch. One and two. We can afford to waste one here. Chop foul again. Good pick by the ball, but you see that? Look at him get up and make this play. This guy's got a future. Right up off the seat. Look at that with a bare hand. Woo! Bearded, bearded ball kid. He caught that with his goddamn fingertips. It's not even in his palm. Look at that. What is, what is, what, what is that? What is that? Come on. Oh, they cheated. They cheated for him. The one, two. Oh, base hit. What the hell? That was a very, very weird route there for Nick. One out base runner for the Royals. Salvador Perez just takes that slider the other way. Great hitter. Great player, Salvador Perez. Holy fuck. Did my internet explode? Ah, Cutter misses. Jesus Christ. Come on. I made a swag. Thank you for the follow. Good luck in your uh, Phillies franchise. Hope you stick around. Come back often. Slider does uh, tie up. Michael Saunders. I would really like a change up in this spot. Shot foul. Dude, my internet has just been so inconsistent lately. I don't know if it's uh, shitty for you guys too, but. Uh-oh. That's foul. Launched to right field and deep. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. When you have two strikes Out of the way, I just can't put them away. I don't have any pitches to, to put them away with. I mean, really. One and two. We can afford to waste one. Off the... Dirt in front of home plate. Saunders is out. Advances the runner to second. But with two outs. I can't believe that ball even stayed fair. That ball. What happened to that ball? Look at this. Just spiked it down in the dirt. Then the spin kind of kicked it back out into play. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. Alcides Escobar pops the ball foul off the really screen behind home plate. So Slider, foul, Royals down to their final strike. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Up the middle, and it is just a seeing eye single. 33 speed coming around. Throw to the plate, not in time. It is an RBI for Alcides Escobar. That ball had eyes. I mean, just right. That, did that go through the legs of Shane Green? And then nobody could get to that ball. I mean, that's just perfectly hit. And now it's Whit Merrifield. In the air. Oh, my gosh. Why is Iglesias not getting that ball? Leonis Martin gets it. The long journey in. Oh, it was like 10 feet into the outfield grass, and Iglesias didn't want to go get it. They wanted Martin to do it. Francisco Liriano will get his first win and his first start with the Tigers. Pitched very, very well. I believe only allowed the, the one run. As the Tigers win 5-3. And even our record out at two and two. Started both series we've uh, played this year with a win. Shane Green will lock down the save, even though he did allow a run. Second save of the year. Jesse Hahn gets credited with the loss. Five runs on 11 hits for us. Three runs on nine hits for them. And the player of the game does go to Francisco Liriano. Five and a third, four hits, five strikeouts, no earned runs, in fact. No earned runs. That's right. They didn't score until uh, till, uh, we took him out. But runs in uh, three of the last four innings for the Royals, not all that good for our bullpen.